high school and I was applying for colleges in the fall of my senior year. I had no idea how I was going to pay for college and I knew I really wanted to go to Smith and that I needed to get a merit scholarship, which I, luckily I was able to get from Smith. But when it came down to the numbers and my mom and I looked at them, it still wasn't closing the gap that I really needed to come here. So my mom told me that I needed to find a scholarship. <laughs> So I just started scouring and asking my guidance counselor and trying to figure out what I could find that would help me go to this wonderful institution. Well, I originally didn't think I wanted to attend a women's college. I, don't think I, I just didn't know a lot about them. We came here and I visited some classes and I realized it was just something that I loved. And I had my heart set on coming to Smith and going to a women's college. That's when I came across the Sunflower Initiative um, from the friends of Randolph making women's college and the Sunflower Initiative works to promote women's education through their scholarship which is called the Harriet Fitzgerald Scholarship. My mom's a teacher and they had just gotten out of a staff meeting and we were leaving in the hallway. My mom, we were at the front of the queue of all the teachers descending the stairs and I got a, pho a phone call and I don't usually pick up numbers from out of town but it said it was from North Carolina and I remember when I had to post my transcripts to the Sunflower Initiative, it was, it was for Virginia, North Carolina so I figured I should probably pick up and my mom recounts it that I just got a really big smile on my face and she looked at me and said, did you get the scholarship? And then she yelled down the hallway to all the teachers that were coming down because she was so proud that I'd been able to get the scholarship to go to Smith. My first class at Smith was 8.30 in the morning, um, introduction to discrete mathematics on Monday. And I, I came into class and I'd gotten there a little bit early and I remember right when class started I turned around and every single person in the room was a woman and, and my professor was a woman and it was just something so unexpected that I just I hadn't quite realized what I had gotten myself into until I had that moment where I, I looked around and I, I realized that it was a really sort of safe environment and that everyone was, had the comfort where they could speak out and not be afraid of what they were going to say or feel that someone was going to show them up and it was a really it's a great moment and so I took courses in four different departments my first semester and I realized that I really do like chemistry I might also double major in mathematics which is something I would never have thought of doing in high school I realized that I really loved it and part of that for me was that I was in a space where I, I could say the wrong answer all the time in class and no one was going to really look down on me for it and I could guess and, and get better and learn this new language without feeling pressures that I had when I was going to a co-educational school. You have to get pretty good at time management because I'm taking 17 credits. I am a NCAA Division III athlete so I practice about 18 hours a week. When I came to Smith, I joined the novice crew team. I had never rowed crew before. It's sweep rowing, so we've got eight people in a 65 foot boat, and I am the ninth person because I am pretty short, so I don't row. I'm the coxswain, I steer. I tell them what we're doing in a race. It's having an in-boat coach who's also a motivational speaker and is steering. Um, my practices are in the mornings. I usually get up at 4.30 in the morning for my 5.30 practice and we get back just before classes. We weight lift twice a week in the afternoon and I think a lot of part of why I joined the team, I didn't do sports as much in high school and it just, it seemed like it would be fun and it's, we are competitive and we are trying to win but it's not in the sense that we're trying to rip each other down. Well, I just love it here and I'm not entirely sure what I expected because I'd only been here for one day and I hadn't lived in the Northeast, and I, I just sort of moved here and hoped it would be all right. And I love all the people in my house. I, I don't think I realized how tight-knit the community was here and how much that would become a part of my life. Being at Women's College gives me the freedom to pursue any subject that I'd like to pursue and do what I love. <laughs>